Okay, so today I wanted to show you guys what I think is probably one of the most crucial and important, my wife's making fun of my, put my hands up like this, crucial and important licks a beginner is ever going to learn. Because it teaches so much, we overlook it because it's just one of those things you learn early on and you kind of move past it. But what I'm talking about is the simple classic rock lick, Jimmy Page did it, everyone did it, this. That, now you might hear that and you're just like, well, so what, who cares about that lick? I learned how to play that a long time ago. Exactly. You learned it a long time ago, and it's an extremely powerful lick. Because here's what's happening. You're, for one, as part of your pentatonic scale, it's an arpeggio, it's outlining a chord, and you could easily adapt it to different chords that are happening. So I'm gonna show you how to use this and apply it to an entire chord progression. So the first thing we gotta do is figure out what exactly we're doing. So picture this as being out of your A minor pentatonic scale. As soon as my volume's on. It's like the story of my life. The volume's not turned on the guitar. Okay, you probably know that. That's box one, A minor pentatonic. Now what's really cool about this lick is it's right here in box one. I'm simply going eighth fret on the high A string, I pull off to five, and I go to five on the B. Now the first thing that this is teaching you is this rocking motion of your index finger. This is really crucial and just kind of a cool thing. Angus, Angus Young, Tony Iommi, all these guys do this. You can see how my finger is rolling across both strings. But what's actually happening here is I'm perfectly outlining an A minor chord. If you think about it when you play an A minor, the notes that are in it are A, E, C. I just played a C, I went to an A, then I played an E. You can put those three notes in any order, doesn't matter how you do it, it's an A minor chord. So now we're outlining a chord versus just playing licks. A lot of times we're playing licks in your pentatonic scale. Which sound great, but sometimes you want to outline a specific chord. Now, that is your minor arpeggio or your minor shape. If you want to make this major, because not every chord's minor, all you have to do is take your pinky finger note and slide it up one half step. So instead of going to eight, you're going to go all the way up to nine. Okay, so you can hear how happy it suddenly sounds. And all we did was we adjusted one note. That's your minor third going to your major third. But again, we're going to leave a lot of those theory terms out of this for now. Because what I'd like you to memorize is the shape. Think about how you played the first one. And then the second one. Pretty much the same thing, a little bit bigger of a stretch. Now, we're gonna do an entire chord progression with this lick. So we're gonna do A minor to C major, G major, D major. And we're gonna do it all using those two shapes. So A minor, well we already got that one. And the way I like to picture this is I try to find my root note in an arpeggio shape, which is right here, and then I build the shape around it. Because what happens next is we go to C major, which, well, that's not gonna work here because that's our A note. So we go and find a C note. We're gonna go right here. So think about that shape that we played. If you have to, think of your C minor pentatonic. And just move this up a fret. You're gonna go 12th fret on the high string, down to eight, and then eight on the B. Okay, so. Next is, of course, G major. So we're gonna hop all the way down here. And you're gonna go from seventh fret on the high string, down to three, three on the B. Real simple. I want minor. Okay, so we have one minor, two majors so far. The final chord was D major. Again, we just find a D note right here on your high E string, and let's do that major shape. So all I'm doing now is I'm gonna go 14th fret on the high E string, I pull off to 10, 10 on the B, and you're home free. There you go, so all together we have And that's gonna be it, guys. Now, before we wrap things up here, I did wanna announce the winner of the Meteora, which we said we'd give away last month. And I have the winner right here. These guitars, super cool. If you haven't played one, check them out. 
And the winner, without further ado, is Adam D with the comment of, woo, so cool. Gotta say the offset body really does it for me. Same here, ma'am. So Adam, I'll get a hold of you. I'll respond to your comment. And congratulations, man. That's gonna be it, guys. End it bluesy, Meteora style with a big old dive bomb.